back to my channel. I am so happy to see you back on my channel. If you're new here, um, I'm Priyanka. I create beauty and fashion content on my channel and I also create vlogs and if you like my content then please do subscribe to my channel and yeah in today's video I actually wanted to uh, swatch all of my MAC lipsticks and these are lipsticks that would suit um, anyone who is in my skin tone and I am an NC45 in MAC that's my reference um, if you want my references for all other foundations I have used a ton of foundations in my life I have listed out all of my references down below so you can just go and search for whatever brand you want whether it's from NARS, Charlotte Tilbury or Anastasia or Fenty, um, you know, Maybelline, one references to my shade, then I have a huge list down below in my description and it is in all of my videos. You can go check it out. So I wanted to swatch all of my MAC lipsticks and not all of them. I actually am just swatching the ones that I love the best on my skin tone. So I actually recently got access to my community tab. So I actually posted a poll over there with a you know what's the next thing that you want to watch whether it's my top 10 skincare products that i'd recommend or my mac lipstick swatches for brown skin and i have actually searched this on youtube and i realized that this video actually does well people love watching lipstick swatches because they want to find references they want to uh, you know view these videos before they buy something but every uh, dusky skin tone video wherever the title says you know lipsticks for dusky skin tone you know, the videos that I've watched, they are at least an NC30. And just because you're Indian doesn't make you dusky, right? Or anyway, I, I don't know. So I was a little disappointed except for, um, you know, Jovita. I, don't, I think just Jovita, I, even Jovita is like a little bit lighter than I am, I feel, because I'm an NC45 and she, I think, uses NC43 to 44. I'm not sure. If you are my skin tone, then I think this video will be really helpful for you and I hope the YouTube algorithm will uh, throw me a bone and <laughs> you know help this video do well so yeah let's just get started I'm gonna be starting with the MAC taupe so let me just get this lipstick off this swatch looks like on my hand and I'm just gonna directly go in and then I'm gonna show you with a lip liner as well So that's what the lipstick looks like and I absolutely love it. It's actually very similar to the one that I was wearing before but it has got very pinkish, peachish undertones. Uh, now I'm just going to add some lip liner and I've learned this trick from Jamie Genevieve where she adds the lipstick and then she adds the lip liner. I'm going to be using this Weave uh, Modern Lip Liner and it's a very brown shade. This is what it looks like with the lip liner on and I feel like it looks much more defined and nice but still looks very subtle. So MAC Bullet lipsticks actually have a couple of different finishes. So this is the uh, MAC lipstick and this is made in Canada and it's the 616 Taupe. Now this lipstick will look very different once you apply a different kind of uh, lip liner underneath. Uh, let me just show this with another lip liner. I have one of my favorite lip liners. I actually, uh, this is what it looks like. I'm just going to add this. So I've literally filled in my lips with my lip liner, which is something that I always do because I feel like tints your lip. So even if your lipstick wears off, you have some color left on your lips so i'm just gonna add the top to this so yeah there you have it that's how it looks like with the lip liner on and i i feel like this brown lip liner this is the brown 03 from chambord i have spoken about this since years now and i think this is one of the most most loved most efficient lip liner that i've ever used 
and I think every brown girl should own this and it's, re it's really inexpensive. I mean, it's not very inexpensive. It's about 6.99 rupees, which I think is pretty okay. I think you should get your hands on this. It's a, it's a game changer. It's a lifesaver, really. So yeah, that's the first shade that I want to talk about. It's called Taupe. Any content creators here, if you are ever doing a, a lipstick swatch video, you could use a bit of your foundation on your lips because you know you already have the residue of your previous lipstick so sometimes the color might not show up really well so always add some foundation to your lips but make sure you don't swallow any of it and make sure when you're cleaning up your makeup you do a good job the next shade that i want to talk about is one of my recent purchases i, I actually did a back to mac and then picked up this one this is the a25 verb satin lipstick and this is also made in Canada so you can actually return six products six empties from Mac and return it at the store and pick up a lipstick so which is what I did with this one so I'm just gonna swatch that for you here you have it this is verb and this is taupe it's actually very close to taupe but it's a little bit darker but since it is a satin finish it looks a little bit more shinier and a little bit more nourishing and more natural if you could say which is why even though it's dark it looks um a little bit more subtle than taupe um i really love 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 this lipstick i'm just gonna put on some lip liner and show you how it looks with the lip liner and i'm just gonna add the same lip liner um the chambord brown 03 That's what it looks like with the lip liner on and I think I think it looks so much more different with the lip liner on and I really love it. It looks very nice and subtle, very easy going, very, um, you know, very sophisticated. Like initially I never used to love the finish, the satin finish lipsticks, but I have grown fond of them and I really like how it feels. It looks very, very glam, uh, but not overdone, I guess. So yeah, that's the next shade. It's Verb and it's in a satin finish. Is the next shade that I want to talk about is Mac Chili. This is a very nice orange toned red. So I'm gonna swatch this and show you how it looks without a lip liner. It's a very bright brick orangey red but i think without a lip liner it looks much more um you know um bright uh, i don't remember it being so bright but if you are bold enough to wear this out i think you can and i think if you if your makeup is pretty subtle like how mine is then you can definitely rock this i am just gonna add a lip liner and show you guys how it looks with a lip liner i'm gonna be using my huda beauty lip contour in the shade cheerleader i feel like this will really go well with that lipstick. Yeah, so that's the lip liner all done. Now I'm going to add the lipstick. That is what it looks like. I don't feel like it looks like I have not, uh, you know, manipulated the shade because I didn't use a brown and I feel like that red looks really nice. I feel like it looks a bit more opaque and, you know, it looks more defined and more uh, out there. Uh, you know, earlier it looked a little bit faint and, you know, just you could see some spots of brightness and, you know, it would it was looking like it's gonna wear off any minute but now it looks bang on you could always use this with a brown um 
and I think it will look great with the brown as well. Um, you know, with just a hint of red and brown. Uh, Mac matte chili. The next lipstick that I have is a cult favorite and it is my MAC Ruby Woo. This is what it looks like. It is the uh, 707 Ruby Woo Retro Matte. So this is another finish from them which is like much more matte than the regular matte lipsticks. The retro matte lipsticks are, you know, pretty dry and, uh, you know, even the top lipstick that I first tried, that was a matte finish. You see, if you notice that it was a little bit more creamy, more subtle, but these are the ones that are like the really out there matte lipstick. So let's just see how it looks on my lips. So that's how it looks like without a lip liner. I feel like it looks a little bit transparent. Um, although Ruby Woo, I've never actually worn Ruby Woo without a lip liner. So I'm just seeing this for the first time. And I feel like it looks very nice and subtle. It doesn't look so powerful and out there. It's just very nice and you know, oh yeah, it's a red lipstick, it's there. And I really like, it looks pretty fresh to me. Although it's very matte, it's not very uncomfortable. I have known this about the Ruby Woo, but I've, I mean, I've, I'm using this after a very long time today, so I'm like pleasantly surprised like I'm using it for the first time. I really like it. I would wear it without a lip liner now, I guess. So yeah, let's just see how it looks with a lip liner. So yeah, that's what it looks like with the lip liner. Just like with the chili, it looks so much more opaque and it looks very, very defined. And you know, for the full face of makeup, I think it looks even more great. I feel like the face is a little too neutral for uh, this kind of look. Um, and I feel like, I don't know, something is not going well. I mean, it looks fine, but I feel like I would have done my makeup a little differently. But I love how this lipstick looks with this lip liner. I think uh, Huda Beauty lip contours are some of my favorites. So this is what the lipstick looks like with the lip liner on. This is uh, the MAC Ruby Woo. The next lipstick that I have with me is the MAC Diva. This is what it looks like. It's a it's a very nice dark plumish berry shade and I have this also in the mini. Let's just see how it looks like on my lips. I absolutely love this lipstick. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I love, love, love it. And it looks so gorgeous and so, um, I think it complements deeper skin tones so very much. I love, love, love it. This is called MAC Matte Diva. It is, uh, this is the kind of lipstick I think you would want to wear without a lip liner, but you can definitely go ahead and try it with a lip liner if you want to make it look more defined and more out there. So let me just show you how it looks with a lip liner. Now for this lipstick, I'm going to be using a different lip liner because it's a little dark, but it's the same Chambord lip liner, Velvet Touch, but it's in a different shade. I think this is a PK13.
it looks very very similar to the lipstick so i'm just gonna apply that on the lip liner what it looks like with the lip liner like, like the previous lipsticks i don't feel like it looks a lot different uh, because i had a similar color lip liner and yeah but it looks very opaque and much more out there so if you're going out in the night and you want to wear it for like longer periods or whatever longer hours then you can definitely pair it up with a liner and if you want to go out just for like a couple of hours then you can just skip the liner but i feel like i am so much more comfortable using a, a lip liner because um you know even when my lipstick fades off i don't look pale and i don't lose out on that pigment so yeah that is mac matte diva now the next lipstick that i have is called dark side and it's a it's a different um, finish actually it's called uh amplified lipstick it's not matte it's not retro matte it's not satin it's an amplified um formula i think it's a very similar shade to diva but i think the oh my god it's literally the same but this has got more mauve on the tones this one is a little bit more darker and i feel like this uh formula is a little different let's just see how it looks like that is what the shade looks like it looks almost like diva but diva i think was a, a tad bit darker than this one and this one's got more pinkish undertones i really love how this is looking with the makeup and with the outfit and it's the creamiest of all the formulas that i've used so we've had matte we've had retro matte we've had satin and this one is called amplified and it's so much more comfortable and i feel like the wear time for this one is not much it's going to wear off very very quickly it's very comfortable very easy and very um, glam as well i think this is a great formula for people who don't like matte lipsticks you know people who just don't like it if you think you they make your lips dry then this is a formula that you can reach for and this shade is called 106 dark side i am going to show you guys how it looks like with a lip liner in a bit I'm going to use the same lip liner that I used for Diva. This is the Velvet Touch lip liner from Chambord. This is in the shade PK13. it's so gorgeous with the lip liner i feel like it looks very very glam and very um i don't know very cocktaily very red carpety i think um i think it it makes for a very nice night time lip shade and it's so nice and shiny and glossy and you know very seductive you could say but i love it i love 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 it and i think it would go great with you know a rock glam look i think it would look great with that as well okay so that is mac amplified lipstick in the shade dark side So those are all my bullet lipsticks all done. Now I'm going to come to the liquid lipsticks. And these are my go-to favorite Mac liquid lipstick that I have loved and I would swear by for anyone who is my shade. Uh is the Mac Retro Matte lipstick in the shade Carnivorous. This is the liquid lipstick and I feel like these are lipsticks that are 
bang out there if you like liquid matte lipsticks these are for you i love them better than the huda beauty ones i mean huda beauty matte lipsticks were such a rage but these are my favorite i have it in the shade carnivorous now these are lipsticks that you do not need a lip liner for because they are so opaque so bang on so spot on so out there you just don't need a lip liner and the moment you put it that's it you don't have to touch them up nothing they just stay put and yeah which is why i left them for the end because i knew that taking them off was going to be a li di little difficult task but again the huda beauty ones actually stain your lips so much more and they're so difficult to take off but i've not experienced that with these so let's just see how this shade looks like Can you see how opaque that lipstick is? And I haven't worn this lipstick in a long, long, long time. And now I realize why I loved it so much. Because although it's matte and although it's liquid and it's so whatever, but it's so comfortable on your lips and it just will stay there. It just will not move. And this is the shade called Carnivorous and I love how deep and dark it is. And I think that's my vibe always. And I have worn this to numerous concerts with my rock chick makeup looks with leather jackets and all of that. And I think that's the vibe. I really, really like it. Um, you have to be a little bit careful about applying this uh, because, you know, the doe foot is a little large and, you know, even I kind of mess it up here. And I feel like it bleeds a, a tiny bit when you're applying and then it dries, dries up, right? So you have to be a little bit careful. But I love, love, love this shade. You can also go in with a brush if you want a lighter application. You can just go in with a brush and buff it in to your lips if you want a lighter pigment or lighter finish. So that is MAC uh, Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Carnivorous. The last lipstick that I have is also a liquid matte lipstick. Uh, this is in the shade Crown and by far this is one of my favorite matte lipsticks. So this is actually a matte lipstick but it has got a mother of pearl um, infusion in it so it is kind of shimmery and it's got that mother of pearl smell in it as well. So this is a very nice mauve deep berry shade with shimmer in it so it sets matte but it shines so let's just see how that looks So yeah, that's the shade crown. That's what the shade looks like. If you can see, it's got a little bit of sheen to it. It looks a little shiny, but it sets completely matte and I absolutely love it. I love, love, love this shade. It's so gorgeous. It's super, super complimenting if you are my skin tone. Even um, matte lipsticks, whenever you apply them, you get them on your teeth, but these ones you don't. It also depends on how you apply them, but I feel like these matte lipsticks are the best i think mac matte lipsticks are my favorite i've always spoken about this so yeah those are all the shades that i have uh, loved and i would recommend if you are an nc45 i hope this video was helpful so that's all for this video let me know which shade is your favorite and which one are you going to buy if you like this video do give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in another video pretty soon bye